Evan, how do you tr how do you trust your own reason? That's what I'm asking you. Hold well, one second. Do you trust the Bible? What? Do I trust the Bible? Yes, I do. Right. What's it made out of? What's it made out of? It's it's um according according to God accord according to Christian theism, it's God's word. So it's self attesting, it's um it's yeah, it's self attesting from God's word. But and it has authority. Molecules bouncing around, how can that be true or false? It's not just molecules bouncing around. According to Christian Neither theism. Is my brain. What? Neither is my mind. No. Accor according to your according according to your world view, according to your world view, all that there is is just this physical realm. That according to your world view, that's it. So if your molecules are just bumping around, then how do you trust your own reasoning? You're redefining what I said. I said the physical realm is existing. Yeah, no, I'm going off of that. According to your world view, according to what you said, all there's there's nothing outside the physical realm, so like I'm not making that claim. So I'm asking you if all there is is the physical realm, and your brain is just fizzing atheism, and my brain's just fizzing theism. How do you trust your own reasoning? Well, one, I'm gonna read. It. I'm gonna say this one more time. I'm stating the physical realm is existence. I don't. Of course, there's nothing but existence. There's anything okay. outside of existence doesn't exist. Two. My brain just busy. What did you say? Busy atheism? Or, yeah. Yeah, it's not the nature of what my brain is made of. It's the pattern of what it is. It's okay, but what I'm asking, like if neurons, just like it's not the fact that your Bible is made out of paper or papyrus or whatever ink they use, it's the pattern you put on it. No, but what I'm asking, according to your worldview, how do you trust your own reasoning? That's what I'm asking. Evidence. So you trust, like, but everybody, like, I can look at one piece of evidence. You can look at another piece of evidence because I have a different world view than you do, and you have a different world view than I do. I'm gonna come up with a different conclusion based on that same piece of evidence that we both just looked at. So how do you trust that your reasoning, looking at that evidence, is true? So if we disagree on something, how do we determine who's true? No, I'm asking you, how do you trust that your reasoning is true? That's what I'm asking you. By testing it. By testing it. But, yes. okay, we still have different worldviews. We still have different perceptions. So, like, the, like whatever the result is, like, our, our worldview is still going to determine how we look at the results. So I'm asking you, how do you trust your own senses? Okay. Yeah, they drive it every day. It gets them to where they need to go. They still they know how to drive a car they, though. They know enough they about know, they know enough about the car to know how to drive it. What I'm asking. They don't know enough to not reason that this extremely flammable fluid that they're packing into the piece of metal is going to explode. Yeah. Well, obviously they do. Yeah, they're packing it into the metal. Well, obviously they do. Like they know if they're driving it, they know enough to yeah. know how to drive it without it exploding. But what I'm asking you yeah. is, how do you trust? How do you know that your reasoning is valid? Do you reason that your reasoning is valid? Do so I reason my reasoning is valid? Yeah, that's the only way. That's the only way you can trust your val your your trust the validity of your own reasoning is if you. What are you defining reasoning as? What am I defining reasoning as? Yeah. Strange um, question. You're trusting your own perceptions. And I'm asking. Well, I mean, okay, you're trusting your own worldview. You're trusting the way you see things through your worldview. I'd say that's a perspective. That's not really a reasoning. I think reasoning is a method of evaluating evidence. Okay, that's exactly what I just said. Like, <laughs> so, so how do I trust my ability to evaluate evidence is based on testing? Okay, but again, like I said, we could both test the same experiment they come up with the same exact results, but because of our world view, we look we come up with a different conclusion. So how do you know that your conclusion is true? How do you trust your own conclusion? For most conclusions, there's a, there's a degree of possibility I'm, I am wrong about my conclusion. 
there's a degree of possibility that you're wrong about your conclusion. So do you really know? Do you really know your conclusion then? Depends on the question. Depends on the question. Okay. Now, okay. I am more certain. I see. I see where this is. We're, we're kind of. Yeah. Big Bang happened 14 point whatever billion years ago. I agree with that. I have a higher degree of certainty. You have a high degree of certainty. Okay. I. I. I have no. I have no issue with the Big Bang. Or. If I fly a plane and I'm going to China. I'm going to trust that the Earth is round and I'm going to be on the side okay. of the planet and the clock's going to change when I get there. Okay. But, okay. We're kind of getting into the same discussion that you and Cy got into now. But if you want to get into that discussion, then I guess we can go. Okay. Say, like, I I'm said. Up what? I'm up for whatever. Alright. So if I said that um, the speed limit on Academy, I mean, you're familiar with Academy, so if I said the speed limit. Yeah. If I said this, if <laughs> so, if I said so, if I said the speed limit of a, on Academy was fifty-five, but I could be wrong. Do I possibly know that? Do I do I know do I know that? You could. I could know, but I said I could be wrong. Right. So and it turns out that the speed limit is for fifty-five, like. Does that mean I knew that, or does that mean that, that I just made a lucky guess? If you have a black bag with five blue marbles and one red marble, and you reach into the bag, and you hold them up to the light, and you look at the bag, and you know what color the marble is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay. Yeah.
I only know what God reveals to me. Do I know that I'm a male? Yeah. Did God reveal that to you? God reveals that to all of us. God revealed that you're male. Yeah, we're, we're made in his image. So it's in God it's innately. Okay. It's so innate in all of us. Because we're made in his you image. Know, you can know for absolute certain you were in some crazy scientific experiment where you're a baby and they figured with your parents and made your boy. You can prove that absolutely. Um, um, I could go back and like I can go back into my I can go back to show you my parents and everything. We can like I mean go look at look at we can look at videotapes. I mean You're looking for evidence by your own definition is irrelevant. You're claiming God is the source no, of all knowledge. But looking yeah. and asking people and searching and using your head. No, what I'm what I'm saying, like in order for us to know, like the reason we know things is because we're made in God's image. You're, you know, when I when a Christian says that God reveals things to us, we're not saying that God speaks to us with an audible voice and says, "This is true, this is false. You're a male, you're a female." No, that's not what I'm saying. You're, I can see where you can get that from, but that's not what we're saying. We're not saying God speaks to us with an audible voice and says that. Making something up. Making something up. Oh, let me show you something real quick. All right, are you finished? What? Inside, whatever. Side admitted that he, he acquired knowledge in two ways. One, he revelation from God, and two, through the senses and reasoning. And he states they're not the no. same. I am stating that I get knowledge and, by senses and reasoning. And I would, I would disagree. I would disagree with Sai on that. Like, You're adding an extra thing. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is, accord, according to Christian theology, according to what God's Word says, we know things through God's revelation, and God's revelation is special revelation and general revelation. General revelation is through creation, through the things that He's made, through us being made in His image, so therefore it's innate in us, like morality is innate in us, the fact that I'm a male is innate in me, stuff like that. And special revelation is his word, the Bible, like written revelation. So that's how God reveals things to us. That's what I'm saying. Every male at birth knows they're male. Every female at birth knows they're female for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, well, you might want to look up some documentaries on YouTube because there are examples. So, so, so. So you're getting, so right. you're getting, you're getting your information. So you're, so you're getting, your, so you believe everything you see on YouTube. Is that what I just said? Well, you, that's yeah, that was your source. You said that you said there's documentaries on YouTube. Well, I said there's documentaries on YouTube, so you have to find them. And don't bite on them. Oh, I'm huh? that's why they're correct. Yeah, I know. Like, but I mean, like that 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 does not change. Like a male is a male. Like. That does not tell, like they may think that they're a female on the I inside. I just pointed out to David that he's like, trying to take my psychology oh, and to bite on that argument. That's why David is not biting on that are, argument. But that does not because change it's a psychological their body argument, structure not theological. or their physiology I just instructed them at all. They can claim all the female on the inside, but that's not like there's no evidence for that at all. Well, there is if you have a girl with a Y chromosome that's broken. And I can't, I'm not like that.